been here for about 15 hours now. I don't remember the last time I ate or took a bath. Why can't it just go right for me, like first time? Why can't that ever just bloody happen? Good morning everyone, welcome back to my allotment diaries. My name is Emma, these are my allotment diaries. We are in the middle of March. It is time to construct the pumpkin archway. I think this is a video that a lot of you have requested and been looking forward to. Um, so I'm gonna basically, my archway has died over the winter. Now the archways that I buy are from Wilco's, they're about £12.99. Um, unfortunately Wilco's didn't have any so I had to order these ones off of Amazon. Same price, £12.99. I think they're about the same quality. The ones that I've got up at the moment have actually lasted me three years of growing pumpkins up them and they've been fine. Unfortunately this year one of them kind of got bent out of shape in one of the storms that we had. So I am going to replace that one basically and the other one I think is okay, fingers crossed. So that's what I'm going to be doing on the plot today. Um, just a couple of things to answer from the comments on my last video. Firstly, my eye is okay now. I got home and just washed it out. I don't think it was as bad as I thought it was. Um, but it really, really hurt. I think also the wind. I mean, it was just, I don't know what I was doing trying to plant potatoes in that wind. Um, but I was just so determined to get down here and do something. So my eye is all okay. Thank you so much for the concern. Um, but it's all good now. And secondly, I didn't actually show it in my last video, but I have planted the water lily in my pond a little bit deeper. So many comments, so many of you saying that the water lily need to be a little bit deeper than that and I did move it in my last video I just didn't film it and didn't show you because I was just so eager to get out of here <laughs> it was like it was like a hurricane but I have moved it deeper thank you so much to your comments I do read them all I do listen um, I'm not very good at replying because I do get so many and I'm also across different social media platforms so I'm always trying to play catch up with all the comments that I'm getting um, but I do read them I do listen to your advice and I do make changes depending on what you've told me so thank you so much please keep commenting I will do my best to answer as many as I can. Just look at the contrast here today at my allotment plot. It is calm, it's beautiful, the sun is out, you can hear the birds. There's no wind at all and it's just absolutely glorious. It's just so peaceful here. It's just my favourite thing to do is just to come here and just stare at it all. <laughs> Not even lying, all I want to do is just sit here and stare at it all because so much growing and because I've mulched everything everything looks so good already so I'm like really happy if you haven't done anything yet to your allotment plot go down there and start mulching your beds because I tell you what it just changes the entire plot and it just makes you feel so fulfilled and happy inside so just go and do that let me show you what we've got and because Wilco's didn't do it so it's this one it's just called a garden arch it's by Divchi Maybe it came from China or something, I don't know. But basically, it's a ladder one. It's exactly the same as the um, Wilco's ones. It's just like a ladder. So for that reason, because a pumpkin would struggle to climb up this ladder, I've also brought some more garden mesh. But I think I do have some here as well, um, which I'm going to reuse as well. So this is basically what we're going to construct today and do. So it's this garden arch here. It's this, this front one that I think has just had it, really. And one of the reasons is because it's actually lower. So if I put the camera up high, you can see that the front one is lower than the back one. And I think that's just because it's all bent out of shape. It's also become really like, um, what's the word? Rusty. And I'm worried it's going to snap and stuff. So it's just not very good. So we're going to get this one down and replace it. That wouldn't have fallen down for anything. No wonder it stayed up in that storm. Why am I doing this? <laughs> right, here's our instructions. There's a lot of A, B's and C's. Luckily there's no, oh there's a D. No, I'm lying, there's a D, there's an E. A, B, C, D, E it seems. So that's, that's a bit of a bummer. Um, it says this is not a toy or a climbing frame for children. Do not assemble in strong winds. There we go, look, there's even a safety warning on it. So I'm really glad I didn't do it yesterday. <laughs> look at me, reading the safety notes and actually following them. I'm growing up, guys. I'm a real allotmenter now. Right, does anybody want to come and just put that archway up for me? <laughs> oh. That's a B, that's A. 
know where did that be? Oh god. That's E. Oh, D's there. These the screws. Okay, gotcha, 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 gotcha. Oh god. Okay, all right. Oh, we're just gonna whack it together, I think. Oh god. Obviously, I didn't bring a screwdriver because that would be too simple, wouldn't it? Obviously. So I've got to use scissors. Yeah. It's <laughs> got to do that fifty thousand more times now. <laughs> If any of you are looking for a little bit more sort of information on how how these things are constructed um, it's just basically your book standard you start with a EBC and then you move on to your BBC 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 and then as you get to the top bit and it curves over you're moving on to your A C C A C A C A A C A A C and then as you come down the other side it's back to your bog standard BBC 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 until you get to the end and then it's an EBC you must not forget your EBC otherwise your CC's at the bottom won't fit onto the B's at the top so you know it's very very simple and uh, if you don't understand that you just you're just silly really because that is just so simple it's just your bog standard ABCDE construction you can't neglect your B's because then the C's don't fit on and you must remember your E at the bottom because if your E, B at the bottom isn't right then the whole thing's off. I hope that sums it up for you. <laughs> I can't believe it, I can't believe it. Actually, you probably can believe it, but I can't believe it. I built the whole archway the wrong way. Apparently the B, E, C bit at the beginning was actually really bloody important. And I thought I was just joking when I said that. But what I've ended up with is two bits the same. I won't go into each other. <laughs> so I've done the whole archway the wrong blooming way round. God, I can't believe I've done that. Stupid bloody archway. Why can't it just go right for me, like first time? Why can't that ever just bloody happen? Why have I always got to learn a lesson? I'm done with learning lessons. I've learned enough lessons. I don't want to learn any more blooming lessons. Oh God. I'm still here trying to put this blooming archway together. It's been nearly an hour now. I'm losing the will to live. I've got a camera set up on my phone because I was trying to make a reel. That's just going to take five hours to make a 25 second reel now. Oh God. What's happened is I've, I've not recognised the B and the E. Well, the difference between the B and the E. It doesn't surprise me. I mean, I wouldn't recognise my own head out of a pile of decapitated heads, you know. How could I get the B and the E confused? Oh, but look, hallelujah, the rest of it fits. Oh, halla flipping luya, halla flipping luya. I'm not digging any worms today, though. No, I'm putting an archway up. Yeah. It's literally just having a casual chat with the robin up there. Do people do that? Do you just casually chat to the birds? I just feel like he responds, you know, don't you? You respond to me, don't you? Yeah, see? Told ya. Oh my god, why is it always the last screw that plays up? Why is it all, why does this happen? Right. Line the bloody thing up. Line it up. God sakes! Why will you not go through? What is wrong with you? Why will you bloody go through? Your whole bloody job is just to go through that bloody hole. It's your one job in this world to go in that hole. I'll well, be nice to you now if you just screw in nicely. That's it. Thank you. Come on, we're all friends here, aren't we? We're all friends. Right, it's up. It's behind me now. I'm not actually overly impressed with the quality. A couple of the screws didn't fit. Whether or not that was because I was too rough with it, I don't know. But I did expect it to sort of be able to go up. But it didn't really. I'm, I'm not massively impressed with the quality of it. I really do think if you have the money, it's probably worth investing in a, a better quality arch. But 
I just don't like to spend that much money here because it's an allotment plot and to be honest it's public place I'm in London and people steal stuff um, and my pumpkins have been stolen before so I sort of want to keep it all as cheap as possible do you know what I mean I'd have a nice one in my back garden maybe at home so I'm just opening this mesh now I'm going to mesh it up but I'm also going to support it and I'll show you how I support the arch as well because I think that's really important to do that first so I'm just going to dig in a couple of canes around it and tie it to the archway and it'll just help to support it a little bit a little bit more and I'll tie that to that like that just keeps it a little bit more secure but when I've got all of the mesh all around it it should be quite secure anyway really and it is new I think it'll be all right of a mad woman I've been here for about 15 hours now I don't remember the last time I ate or took a bath um, but it's up luckily I had enough mesh left over from the last archway that could be reused and it just took me ages and my hands are just but enough of the complaining let me show you the new archway the new and improved archway here she is first of all it's the right height now which I'm really happy about and it's all covered in mesh and it's all just been done properly I'm absolutely thrilled with it let's take a closer look so this is our new ladder archway that we have put up as you can see it goes all the way around trying not to make you dizzy here um, and then I've covered it with mesh it's not the best quality um, and I've lost a screw here so I've had to put a stick in to try and keep it together so obviously it's not ideal but it is what it is it's $12.99 <laughs> The archway before is still intact, I think it's still okay and it's quite secure and then the whole thing has just been covered in mesh. What I mean by that is the reason I use garden mesh right, for pumpkins is because ideally what I want the pumpkins to do is to hang through the mesh. So we've got little pumpkins sort of hanging like Christmas decorations on a Christmas tree but if they do happen to sit on, on the, um, the mesh and they don't come through I want it to have a little bit of give so that the pumpkin doesn't get like squashed if it was on something really hard and firm like that bit then the, the pumpkin would like grow around it and it would get like a mark in it and stuff and it just wouldn't be very good so on this here it can get heavier and it's just like a net it's just like a hammock that's what I'm trying to say a hammock so I'm trying to create a little hammock and this one here is probably a little bit too firm for them to sit on but I think it will be okay because it's only half of it that's covered but god I'm relieved to get that done um, if you haven't done your archway yet I would suggest doing it now because as I was making it I've been standing in these raised beds just below it and compacting the soil a little bit which is really annoying I did try really hard not to step in them as much as I could but I had to to reach it which is a bit annoying because the soil was really really good I hadn't I literally hadn't set foot in it for ages but still anyway I mean it is what it is did I grow some Something here I have a feeling I grew something did I put lettuce here I've been stepping on the lettuce guys I've been stepping on it and I can see that some of it has started to germinate and that's really annoying I completely forgot I put lettuce here yeah some of it is starting to germinate through the soil actually a lot of it a lot of it is oh goodness look I've just absolutely stood in the whole thing I'm so sorry guys yeah I did sow lettuces there I remember doing it now um, hopefully they'll survive a little bit they seem to be all right I mean plants are very strong and robust so don't panic about them too much and then I've got obviously this archway down here which I was going to get rid of but I hate getting rid of stuff at my allotment I do wonder if it will just support a few sweet peas I reckon it might be okay for sweet peas I might try and stick it up somewhere now and just have it somewhere yeah I don't know why I'm doing this to myself but I am just really quickly going to whack that one up too Oh, it's really added that archway I and mean, it's literally snapping in my hand so it wouldn't have um, been able to withstand pumpkins so I'm really glad that I put that one up even though that one's still a bit rickety but I think it might I think it might just hold a few sweet peas over it and have a little sweet pea sweet pea archway yeah I think I think it'd be okay Just thought 
to take a look under the cloche and see what's going on. I actually think some of the parsnips are germinating um, because the green is coming in a little row. I'm not sure if it's going to pick up on camera too well, but there's definitely some little green shoots coming up along here in a little row, particularly at the end there where I think I really scattered them. Um, and then this is the carrot row. Can't see any carrots just yet. Oh, actually I can look. And also these here, these are parsnips from last year and um, that are basically regenerating because I obviously didn't pick the whole of them or I left some root in the ground and they've just regrown. And then um, I don't know if there's any life on my little uh, rhubarb potato. <laughs> actually got quite a lot growing for this time of year this time last year I had like nothing growing at all like nothing and this year I've just got so much coming up it's really really exciting I just feel it we're gonna have a good year this year just in case it gets chilly for them put them back to bed it's a big guys good night good night that archway has literally sapped every, every single bit of energy that I had this morning when I woke up is now gone thanks to you thanks to you Archway. Um, I can't believe I'm saying this at this time of year in March, in mid-March, but my plot is looking all right and I'm really happy with it. I have done a brilliant job and I'm patting myself on the back this year. Seriously, I think. I, I, I don't remember going into March before and feeling so confident and so happy with everything, but it really is all growing. We've got the tulips at the front and then we've got the lettuce growing here. We've done the archway ready. We've got tulips coming up there. That's all been mulched. Strawberries are now in a planter and they're all pretty much alive. And then we've got broad beans down here, which are doing really, really well. Really happy with them. And then over there we've got our tulips, we've got potatoes in there, we've obviously got all the carrots, parsnips, shallots, garlic in there, rhubarb potato, don't know if it do anything, hey ho, we'll see. Then we've got a wildlife palm, which we've redone this year, we've got new shrubs, wildlife, um, what they're called, wild, wildflower seeds in it, bulbs, new plant ponds new pond plants even and then we've got some tulips down here which are new this bed is now free for something in spring tulips here we've got a little pea got a little pea tp there some peas will go in there something else is going to go in here at some point got a flower bed ready to go we have a new archway for the sweet peas we've got some raspberry canes in we have a bed here ready to go got another bag of compost that can go out and we've got all the stuff growing in the polytunnel we have a compost area we have a rubbish dump area I think we've done it guys i think we cracked it this year i think that's it i've even got colorful bunting which hasn't fallen down i think we've cracked it this year i think this is the year this is the year that i'm gonna win the allotment prize because i just think i think i've cracked it and i'm so thrilled with it and i just feel happy being down here now I have got so much growing at home. I've got sunflowers, cosmos, tomato plants that I potted on, leeks, celery, um, brassicas, all kinds of stuff. So my next video on Friday, I'm gonna be showing you all that's growing at home. I hope you've enjoyed the vlog today. Um, and if you haven't done your pumpkin archways yet or built any of the structures, I would recommend doing it as soon as possible. Just because like I said, when you have to build a structure, firstly, it's a slog and it takes a long time and your hands are gonna be free freezing and it's very very annoying so just get it done and secondly obviously you're going to be treading in your beds and compacting the soil as you're building and everything you can't really help that because you need to get get round it and stuff so I would recommend oh, it's been nailed my hair I would recommend getting it done as soon as possible if you haven't already hope I've inspired you to try and get out there and do something in your gardens and I will see you again on Friday thank you so much for watching see you next time bye bye <laughs>